okay, let me see if I can get this right. It's day 229, it's my week in review. And I'm driving back from uh, checking the post office and everything and trying to figure out about this refund on this express mail. Well, unfortunately I couldn't get the refund uh, because they did try to attempt to deliver at 11 o'clock in the morning. So, you know, even though it was guaranteed at three o'clock, couldn't get my money back. Oh, well. <laughs> nice try though. But um, let me see, what did I do in the past week that would completely interest you or disinterest you or anything? And uh, let me think. In the past week, I did the Green County Fair, and then I had to, and that was in Greenville, Tennessee, and then I had to leave on uh, Friday, come back home to do the Emoja Festival in Johnson City, which was great. I mean, there was a little bit of some slow times and everything like that, but I mean, it was a fun festival nonetheless, and I'm glad I did it. Um, I'm definitely going to do it again next year, and that's great. Other than that, I've already posted pictures up on Facebook and on my blog of some of the pictures that I have, uh, some of the paintings I have done. So, of course, I'm probably not going to have any photos up on this blog. But, today is my business partner's birthday. Happy birthday, Lynn! Woohoo! Hope you're having a great day. Um, heard we're going to have some sukiyaki uh, fondue tonight, along with a nice cake her granddaughter is making for her. So hopefully I won't get too much more fat in the belly than I already am. A um, little bit of some heads up on what's going to be happening um, this winter. I'm changing my venue a little bit. I'm still going to be doing fairs and events and different things, but I am really trying to get into doing full body art with uh, photography and everything else. So I'm actually going to start doing some really elaborate body paintings and getting some really great photos. I am on Model Mayhem now and I'll post that link down below, down below, and um, it's hard to point when you're driving and holding the camera in one hand. So, <laughs> I'll post the link down below so you can go to my Model Mayhem and check that out. I have found a few models and photographers within the Abingdon and Tri-Cities area, so hopefully I can get some stuff out there before the end of the year. Um, I'm really trying to expand now on doing more comic book style uh, body paintings. Um, if you've seen the one I did of the Dark Phoenix on Jessica Moss from Atlanta, we uh, did such a great job on that, I just think I found my calling in body art. So, I'm going to try to do more just like that if I can. Now, uh, if you haven't heard or if you're not friends on Facebook or uh, you haven't checked my blog before, Jessica Moss, uh, the one I did is The Dark Phoenix, got into a really terrible head-on collision with a third offense DUI. Um, I did post out a status, you know, send out your thoughts and prayers on her. You know how I'm not that religious, so prayers don't really work for me, but, you know, at least send out some happy thoughts, tell her to get well soon. Um, you know, just give her your kind regards. And uh, she is doing a little bit better now. She's bedridden for right now. She can't do much. She's been doing some editing of some of her mom's photography, uh, Bodhi Tree Photography by Grace Moss. And, you know, these works are really great. And uh, Jessica Moss also goes a lot around to uh, different comic book conventions like Dragon Con, which is coming up this Labor Day weekend, September 2nd through the 5th in Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, she usually goes as Zatanna, and uh, she looks really awesome. So if you get a chance, uh, look her up, take a look at some of her pictures and stuff. And, uh, well, you'll see her in some of mine on Model Mayhem. 
So as I was saying, I'm really changing my venue. I'm going to be getting a really nice camera, a really nice computer. Um, I'm going to be getting a green screen backdrop. That way I can change out the background to whatever I want whenever I do these comic book style uh, body paintings. I'm also going to be going into more abstract design and you know as being Catman do, I do a lot of feline body paintings. Well, I want to try to get away from that a little bit and I want to really elaborate on more comic book style. So if you go to my Facebook page, and in fact I'm going to place up um, underneath all this is going to be another video and it's going to show you some of the ideas I have for um, you know the body paintings I want to do. Uh, female comic book characters. And uh, it's just a little video I put together is some ideas that I got off of uh, DeviantArt and you know Google Images and everything like that. So go ahead and check that out and let me know what you think. Also, <laughs> if you'd like to see me do a body painting of a comic book character, a female comic book character, go ahead and um, answer the question on my Facebook page, uh, my Katmandu Face and Body Art Facebook page, my Katmandu FBA 365 Facebook page, or my profile page and um, let me know if you don't see a comic book character on there that you like or um, one that's not listed go ahead and add it in there and place your vote you can vote more than once for different characters and stuff so you if you have three you like go ahead and click on three of them you know there's been people on there that have clicked on five or six um, other than that I mean, uh, I just really want to get this out. I, I really want to start doing some more body paintings. Uh, comic book style seems to be my thing, so I'm going to go for that as much as possible. Um, if you're in the area and you want to do some test shots with me uh, for some trade for CD or trade for photo, uh, let me know and uh, we'll see what we can do. Now, uh, I am kind of busy all the way through. October. I do have a little bit of an opening in September, but I'm going to see if I can go visit Jessica and see how she's doing because I haven't had a chance. I was really going to just, you know, go with very limited funds to go check on her, but it wasn't feasible and I screwed some things up between us. And if you notice, it's not in a relationship with anybody right now. Um, I should have given her some time and I knew I screwed up, but that's my thing, that's my problem. I'm gonna have to deal with it, but she's worth fighting for, and I'm gonna fight for her. So, I, I really care about her, and I want her to know that. Um, it's not about me, it's all about her. And uh, if she doesn't believe that, and she's watching this video right now, Jessica, remember the last night. It wasn't about me at all. So, other than that, Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. If I forgot something that I should have been uh, talking about in this video, go ahead and leave a comment here, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, Google+. I'll post all those links down below. But uh, until tomorrow, guys, happy painting. Bye.